Good morning, friends. IAOS is proud to present the world's first mega MHT. Important question: What is mega MHT? Mega MHT is the most wonderful procedure for both the patient and the therapist. It is a little short of IBU. but a little more than a 10 pass of mhd it works around 12 pass mhd iaos is proud to introduce patent pending world's first 500 ml vacutainer bottles with 99% vacuum this can ozonize 250 ml of blood with up to 50000 gamma ozone and the whole procedure can be completed in a single 12 minute session this is equal to a conventional 10 pass mhd or a renal filter ibu as practiced by many forums this patient has renal failure uncontrolled diabetes non healing heal ulcer for 7 months and was advised amputation so that was a below knee amputation 10 days ago he had a conventional iaos mhd with 60 ml blood and 5000 gamma ozone and this produced good results which gave us more confidence to go for higher dosage we had also followed up the original mhd by peri wound infiltration peri ulcer infiltration of 70 gamma ozone today he had the world's first mega mhd with a 500 ml vacutainer bottle this is the status of the ulcer before treatment where we can see that it is opening up and the calcaneum is exposed he was undergoing daily dressings for a period of last 6 to 7 months and this shows the depth of the ulcer and the amount of debrima in that he just had ozone infiltration around the periphery and one simple basic mhd we can see the clinical picture within one therapeutic session how it is slowly closing up the skin has started wrinkling the edema has come down and this is after 10 days of the initial procedure where he came back for a repeat mega mhd the next picture is the 6 hour picture after a mega mhd i myself never expected such dramatic results in such a short while i will keep the group posted of his eventual and final results over a period of time this video shows the complete procedure of mega mhd in real time this is a mega bottle which is 570 ml bottle with 99% vacuum with a stainless steel diffuser the bottle is primed with heparin the set is primed with heparin a tourniquet is applied already the patient's ulcer area has been infiltrated first with xylocaine and then injected with 70 gamma ozone all around the ulcer areas we are not doing an ibu for him because he has a av shunt on the other side for dialysis purposes that is the reason we have designed a mega mhd for him we are using an 18g butterfly or 19g butterfly for that matter as we must treat veins delicately in crf patients 
the drip set is closed there are three spots a big round a small round and a plus so the set goes to the big round and is opened up the blood flows against the gravity and it's getting collected in the bottle our aim is to collect about 200 and 50 ml of blood and inject it with 300 ml of 100 gamma ozone or maybe 400 ml of 100 gamma ozone to give 30 to 40000 gamma ozone to the patient here 60 ml of 100 gamma ozone is taken in one syringe which is locked in a bivalve then another syringe is attached and 60 more ml making 120 ml that would be a total of 100 gamma 120 ml so that will be 12000 gamma here we have collected about 240 250 ml of blood in the bottle at which stage we ask the patient to relax his hand loosen the tourniquet and close the blood flow the two syringes are attached to a bivalve the patient is asked to relax the tourniquet is released a needle is now attached to the syringe part and bent at right angles by just manipulating the bivalve we can see how the ozone gets sucked rapidly the suction in the bulb shows that there is still suction in the bottle the moment the needle enters you can see how the ozone gets sucked in and we change the bivalve the second part gets sucked in we close the syringe inlet and we are attaching another syringe which is filled with ozone the needle part is closed again so that the vacuum is maintained we attach the syringe and once again in case we are not getting enough pressure we will have to push the needle this is the fifth syringe that's the sixth syringe filling up this case we give 7 that is 420 ml of 100 gamma which totals to 42000 gamma which is equivalent to more than what the basic fora give for mhd therapy all this is being sucked in into a simple bottle single bottle and is being organized so 200 ml of blood organized with 42000 micrograms ppps means per patient per session dose of ozone so that the entire blood is ozonized once the blood is ozonized we can close the bivalve and then invert the bottle hang it for transfusion we have already opened the flow and release the tourniquet ask the patient to relax his hand because 
there is some excess pressure in the bottle we do not want any outflow of blood from the bivalve so we have removed the two syringes here we have actually injected seven syringes of 60 ml each of 100 gamma ozone you look at the blood now the blood is uniform mixed a little dark and it's bubbly but because a large volume if this patient has toxemia high urea high uric high creatinine and disturbed renal parameters what comes out as froth in ibu will stand up over the blood the waste collection in non renal filtered ibu is only found in high diabetics or hepatic or renal failures and mega mhd also separates the waste which floats up into the bottle this was the observation for a long time and we finally could prove to ourselves that our observation was not incorrect you can see as the blood is being transfused the waste is all accumulating above in the form of a serum whereas the uncoagulated blood is flowing freely into the patient the patient feels very comfortable and we can see that with the flow there is clear separation of the blood components the ozonized blood components and the waste serum which if it was a nebu using either renal filters or borosilicate glass bottles would have flowed out of the waste chamber another important point is the entire amount of ozone has been absorbed by the blood towards the end of the procedure when we find the blood flow has slowed down we can inject another 50 ml of ozone through the diffuser though this will only cause surface adsorption and will not be absorbed by the blood nevertheless it will increase the pressure inside the bottle to allow for a faster flow of the ozonized blood we do not want the waste to go back in the body and so we wait till the blood part has been transfused you can see the waste serum in the bottle at a high level once that is gone we remove the set and allow the ozonized blood to drain into the patient and after that it has to be clearly tightly packed the site of mini puncture because not only have we used heparin but the patient is on blood thinners also you can see a substantial amount of waste generated as a result of mhd not ibu this patient sent me a message 24 hours later saying that he had never felt better his tiredness was less the dialysis duration got reduced and he never felt younger or happier than after the procedure we remove the butterfly and then the part is strapped tightly the operative operator is not wearing a glove because the sticking plaster will stick to the glove and make glove pasting difficult a tight elastic adhesive bandage is strapped with strict instructions to the patient that the same
should not be removed for at least 4 hours to know more about ios mega mhd you can please message me on the above number message is only no calls please thank you very much and if you want to do a course or get details about these mega mhd bottles you can inquire from indian academy of orthopedic surgeons thank you